Hi yeah. guys. <laughs> Welcome back to Mavro Talks Love, Sex and Relationships. Today we are talking about breakups and we have a question from social media. Before we get into it, who do I have on the sofa? Stefano. Paris. I'm Alex. Sophia. Steph. Amber. Um, what do you think about people who stay in their relationships for convenience, i.e. <clears throat> they share a mortgage, they live together, they've got kids, X, Y and Z? I mean, it depends why you're staying in that relationship. Is is Are you still trying to work out the issues or are you completely over it and you're just there for the convenience? I think it's a waste of time, if yeah. I'm honest. Like, yeah. You only get one life. Why are you going to spend it with someone that you're not in love with and you're not enjoying yourself? You might as well mm. cut it dead and find yeah. someone new. Yeah. Where it's, you're not, it's not going to be worth it in the long run. Yeah, because you're going to get to a certain day, point where you're just going to... Things are just gonna go left. Yeah. I, I don't have right. kids, but I, I wouldn't want my kid to see me grow up in an unloving marriage. Yeah, I'd yeah, rather just see me with a stepdad where I'm in love. Yeah, so it's unhealthy. But, but I mean, what sometimes I feel like in relationship, <clears throat> yeah, you can fall out of love, but then there's a there's a certain, I guess, length of time where you try and find that love back because mm -hmm. I guess that's what relationship could be about. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. about like, oh yeah, one argument, yeah, boom, we're done. Because yeah. otherwise no one is lasting. Especially so. when you have children, I think. Yeah, like, I can yeah. understand like... It's more like the history, isn't it? I yeah. Think. yeah. My, it's funny because my parents, my mum, I remember her saying once that like, she would, she would stay together with someone for the sake of children. But mm -hmm. then she actually did like leave my dad. Mm. But I do, I do think that like, if it's not like a really toxic and like angry environment, then maybe try yeah, you can out, try and yeah. stay together for the benefit of like, I don't know, stability for your kids or like finances or something. But mm. if it becomes like an environment where it's like- yeah. You're not in love, it's done, it's I dead. think people don't give enough credit to the kid. Like I can clock what is going True. on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like in that um, we're trying, I can tell that you're trying here yeah. to figure this out. I, it don't I, feel natural. You, you was, you was yeah, saying. I'm basically saying it. I think it depends on that people's personal relationships. Mm. Um, Cause I know like a lot of my, like my boys are with their girlfriends or their wives because they want to like see their children and they know yeah. they split up with their wife. Oh. They'll have issues real. like, you get me? So that's what I'm saying. I think it, it's, it's dependent on people's personal yeah. relationship mm. and commitments and so on. Um, and even when you're in a relationship for like so long, say like 20 years, you're comfortable in it. Mm. So you might not even want to get, like for women, they might not want to see someone else because it's been so long. Um, so I've, yeah, like I said. I've I, do you know what? I agree with you though, because I've got a lot of boy mates and they're with yeah. like their baby mums and stuff. And you know they're not in love. But and they you know they muck around and, so and stuff on. like yeah. that and I am always like why are you with them like I don't mm. get it and they're like oh it's just just I, swear they, yeah. I swear there's legal rights over this sort of thing though now like really a guy crazy. actually can take their ex-partner to court to see their children so I that should never be a reason yeah. why you should just stay yeah. in that relationship because that's so unhealthy yeah but that's hard that's legal fees like you said so much time consuming there's so much it's just easier isn't it so to me though, and the it's kids like, never know. I might be talking from an Kid. ignorant place, but if you're in a relationship like that, I would have felt like there would have been indicators in your relationship prior to the children to mm -hmm. see that that's the type of dynamic that you guys- Not necessarily, because no, when you have children, children change everything. Yeah, it changes. It changes everything. And people changes grow as time goes. Yeah. No, yeah, that, that I, I, oh, I don't- People do. You could grow into a dickhead, you never know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> people, <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> no, I remember thinking it's fact. Especially but but do you feel like people are gonna grow into that level of a dickhead for no reason? Well, not even a dickhead, no. just like, people change. You change yeah. and you- you change. Change. Well, you know, I think you never fully know someone until you've both gone through a crisis, right? Mm. Yeah. So like, imagine like cancer, death in a family, like I loss of a job, sure. all of these things. That's when I you do. really get tested on like, how can that person Definitely. show up for you? Mm -hmm. And through that situation, you might realize like, damn, like I thought I knew, I thought yeah. that this was the person. You're not gonna know how they react to certain situations. Until you're in that. Yeah. And this is yeah. what I was saying, I might be coming from an ignorant place because same with you, the friends that I've had that have been in similar situations, your relationship was fucked properly. Prior, prior. To well before all this yeah. bro like so i don't know why you're you're so but i think in the, the, in the people that i'm talking about are like they've sort of like been with someone a long time and they've sort of accidentally got pregnant Change. or yeah. whatever has happened and it's been someone they've been with for a while but not necessarily they're in love yeah and yeah. the kids kind of just come along not really planned but it's happened and i feel like they just i feel like i was the kid 
that had my mum and my stepdad. I didn't know my dad. I met him when I was much, much later in life. And I had that relationship where I saw my mum and my dad fighting and arguing, not physically, but yeah. just like really hate towards each other. Yeah. And I was the eldest and there's three below me and they're his and I wasn't here. So I saw everything from a different perspective and I could see that they hated each other, but they stayed because of us. Mm -hmm. And so actually when they did finally break up properly, we actually celebrated as yeah. the kids because we were Trust like, me. we've been yeah, through so many yeah. breakups and, you know, my mum going, I'm not going to take him back. That's it. And then next thing he's, he's in her bed again. And, and it was kids, like, you want your well, to hold be on happy. a minute. Like you two don't like each other. Like we're going on holiday and you're arguing. Like we'll go to dinner. You're mm -hmm. arguing. So actually when they did break up, it was actually the best thing. So I think sometimes staying together for the sake of your children, you I need to look yeah. at your children and be aware aware that they are aware of everything that you guys are doing and I think that's it, the thing people forget sometimes I think even like financially a lot of people stay together financially yeah, they might, yeah. they're scared it's hard they to be single yeah, yeah, yeah. by yourself so. hey girl <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying so there's definitely a variety of reasons but I feel like people people should at least be considering every single party yeah. that's involved in in the situation Bradley T Kira Samuel. Tori. King George. So, question for the floor from social media. What do you think about people staying together for the sake of the kids? No. no. It doesn't oh, make wow. it any better. <laughs> okay. no. They yeah. think it does, but it doesn't. And then your child's going to learn no. that way of life and I think that's all right to accept that. Are we all on the same page? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you know, it's, it kind of... I think it's kind of impossible to stay with someone for the sake of the kids because you stay with them because you like you obviously want to be with them and you love them because you can't just be like because we've got kids. Together. No, there's a lot of people. Let's watch. Like, no, there's, there's a lot of there's a there's a lot of men who will stay with women because they're worried that the women will then take the kids away. Yeah. No, a hundred percent. Or there's a lot of females who will stay with the men because they're financially dependent on them and they're worried that they are then going to take that away and the kids mm -hmm. are going to. But I still I still think as humans there's obviously. Like there's always ups and downs and like we were allowed to make choices and kind of go back on our choices. So I feel like surely I would like to like like to think that people who do say let's stay in our relationship for this in this moment for the kids do eventually end up finding love within it again. Like no. well, bless him. No, but, no, but <laughs> I think, come on, you can't yeah, just... For how long does it go on for for you yeah, to I'm kind of stay I've, in a I've relationship? Seen, I've seen people stay with each other for, for yeah. absolutely years and it becomes extremely toxic. To the point where they start it's living... They're, they're sleeping in separate rooms. Yeah. 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 No yeah. Relationship. They're, they're not talking to each other for days. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, it happens Tell your dad to no, pass me the... There's loads of reasons to stay in a relationship. But the problem is, like, a relationship even without kids, I feel like... You can force yourself to stay in it, and mm. it just builds up more and more resentment. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. so then it gets to a point where actually, however much you would like to find love with yeah. that person again, there's so and much the kids water feel under it. the bridge. It, yeah. it, it is an energy that you cannot mm -hmm. kids for breeze yeah. out. Kids and adults are more pure than we are. What yeah. you're teaching your in, in in some in one sense is you're teaching your children that no matter how bad it gets, stay with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. a bad thing true. to teach. Imagine, imagine girls imagine don't can... stay with guys for the sex. I don't think that's the main reason that women would stay with sex either because not for, for the kids. kids they want they right. want to have one baby father yeah. or, or financial or mm -hmm. financial but I don't think it's got anything to do with sex because no. women can get sex anywhere yeah. 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 we could, yeah. we could yeah. ask yeah. anyone yeah. for sex and they're basically going to say do, yes to us do you think some around, people not... stay in relationships just to build on this point purely out of convenience so for example yep. you've got a joint mortgage yep. or or well, do you know what I really uh, the, it's, it's cheaper dead to keep it's dead but yeah it's cheaper to keep her or you know it's dead but do you know what I don't really want to have to go through the hassle <laughs> of dating again. I don't want to go through the yeah, hassle yeah. of losing yeah. weight. Whatever I, when the, when the rent in like, London is split, so, yeah. <laughs> I have a friend who actually said, like, if, if she breaks up with her partner, they've been together for t over a day. Yeah, time. And she's like, I'll, I will stay single for life. Because it's the whole sense of life has changed, adapted Things she doesn't know no longer know about dating again, all of these things builds a new relationship. She's just afraid of it. She she, yeah, like, I was gonna say she says that, but it's not the case. Yeah, it's she, not the case. She'll definitely that's just it. that's just fear she's based. Afraid. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. but, but some people really want like even that fear based 
some like some people's reality becomes that fear, so they don't move past. But they that think fear. that in this moment, yeah, yeah, it's like you can say, sit yeah. there and be like, when you first meet someone, I'm going to be with this person forever. It's just not and who it you are. Have, mm. yeah. I feel like nobody that. can guarantee that. Nobody, no, not everyone takes that leap. Risk is a thing that not everyone wants to. Pay. But no one can guarantee mm-hmm. they're forever. Mm-hmm. 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 And you know what? That is a really great point to kind of conclude on. If you want to get involved with any of the discussions or our social media questions, you know where we are. Mavra talks across all social media, or you can leave a comment. Down below. Love,